We're talking about you leading a healthy, growing, multiplying group. And we've been talking about eight habits of effective small group leaders. We've talked about the habit of dreaming about leading an effective group that multiplies. We've talked about praying for your group and your group members every day. We've talked about inviting new people. If you invite them, they will come. Well, today we want to talk about contacting the people that are already part of your group. If you continue to contact them, they will continue to come. I saw this worked out when I was in my early 20s. We started a church from scratch in a place where you didn't know anybody with 10 people. And our church began to grow. And what I began to do was contact every family every week. Everybody that would visit, I would contact them. Everyone that would become a part of us, I would contact them. For two years, I contacted every family every week. And so people, once they got at all connected, stayed connected because of those consistent contacts. And so we grew from just a handful of people to over 200 people in um, a year and a half to two years. And then I realized that was a little too much there was too much for me to keep up with so our other small group leaders began to contact much more consistently at that point and our church continued to grow so if you contact them if you continue to contact people they will continue to come contacting is also very beneficial because it helps you know where your people what's going on in their lives so that you're the lessons you're developing, the things you're talking about, how you're praying for them is hitting the target because you know exactly what's going on in their lives, in their families, in their situations. Contacting is also very important because people don't always care how much you know until they know how much you care. And one one uh, powerful aspect of a small group is that it can be the place where people experience the love of God. It can be the place where people experience the care of God. When I, one night I was so blessed as a pastor. I had to go to the hospital and visit uh, somebody that had been coming to our church. And I got there one night and I heard all this commotion. And I went to the hospital room where the person was supposed to be. And there was a whole group of people from our church there. That entire small group had come together as a small group to visit this lady in the hospital who had started visiting their group. They, they, they contacted her as personally as possible. They showed up at her hospital room, and she knew that they cared about her. Contacting communicates that you're thinking of them, that you're praying for them, and that you care for them. So what do you say when you contact somebody? I, I usually ask them a simple question. You know, how are you doing? How did you like the group? What are you enjoying about the group? And then I ask them, how can I pray for you? And I find that people will, will share something with me and I'll say, is there anything else? And often they'll open up and share something going on in their life that, that didn't come out during a group session. And then I'll offer to pray with them right then at that moment about that issue. And so many times they, they have begun to cry because God touched them at their point of need because I contacted them and showed that I care about them. It made a big, big difference. Now, there are certain times when it's more important to contact than other times. It's good to contact everybody every week, but, but I'm talking about having a more personal type of contact, not just a text, not just a message, but, but something even more personal, a phone call or a face-to-face -face, uh, conversation. And those are right after that first visit. First time somebody visits your group, you want to contact them right away and find out what they thought, how they thought about it. Let them know that you're glad that they came and that you want them to come back. The second time it's important to contact is if somebody's new, you want to contact them every week uh, as personally as possible for those first six weeks because it takes six weeks to really get comfortable in a habit. And you want for them being part of your small group to become a habit, a holy habit in their lives. So you contact them every week for the first six weeks. A third time it's important to contact is if they miss 
That way you let them know that you miss them. So if they're not there this week, they get contacted uh, after that. So you let them know that you miss them and that their presence in your group is important. The next time to, it's very important to contact people is if, if they shared in the group, something big is going on. They, they've got a, a job interview or they've got to see the doctor about something or they've got to go to court about an issue. And then you want to get back to them and find out how it went and let them know you're praying about that and you care about it. So contacting really uh, is especially important all the time, everybody all the time, but especially personal, uh, more in-depth contacts um, when those key events are going on. So make sure you take advantage of that. If you invite people, if you invite enough people, a certain number of people will come. If you contact people and continue to contact people, people will continue to come to your group.